So I've just done the Saturn video and here we've got a, a lot of really nice Japanese PlayStation 1 games. Not all of these were in the collection that came in today but this is one of the nicer boxes in the shop so I've instantly forgotten the name of this hot blooded family. I think it's a really really nice Final Fight type school and brawler. Some of these games I can't even pronounce. Moteke Tamago with Ganbear Kamonoshi. Uh, that is Salary Man. It's brand new. This one is called Lup Salad. It's a really interesting little game. No screenshots in the back of it, but it's pretty quirky and rare. One of the kind of Holy Grail PlayStation items, Adventures of Little Ralph, complete with spine registration card. So this one is called Caillou, and as you can see, it's pretty expensive. It plays quite a lot like Cotton, a really quirky and unusual shoot 'em up. Um, speaking of quirky and unusual shoot 'em ups, here's probably the rarest one of them all on the PlayStation Harmful Park. Unfortunately, no spine or registration card, but nice condition, and it's an absolutely beautiful game. And it kind of puts paid to all those PlayStation can't do shoot 'em up things. Wipeout 3, Japanese version is quite rare. We've got Pulley Ruler, Arcade Gears, a really unusual kind of puzzly type game. Time Bokan. Box is always the wrong way around. Vib ribbon. Time Gal and Ninja Hayuti. It's a really rare. It's a couple of laser act laser disc games from the arcade. Converted over. Spot goes to Hollywood, which again, pretty rare in Japan. Brigandine RPG, quite a scarce one. This is a strange box, the Pandora Max series volume 5, so it's basically got 5 games in it and it's a very unusual box set, so you don't see that very often. Try Rush Gepi X, a really really nice shoot em up, very rare, even though I've got 2 of them in this box based on an old anime series in Japan. So it's actually four discs and I think three of them are just basically episodes of the TV series and one's an amazing shoot up And caught in the original. Night Strikers, which doesn't get enough credit, it's an excellent little game. Gradius Gaiden, the best of version. Hey, I am not got a clue what this one's called, unfortunately, but it's a interactive horror movie. Quite interesting. Probably hard to play. And this is another Gusin Ayoyo game from Irem, I'm sure. Yeah, it's a nice little platform action puzzle. Thing. Cleopatra Fortune, you're probably noticing how expensive this is. Uh, Saturn version was really expensive and the Dreamcast one even more so. R types, one and two. We have Bubble Gum, Bubble Gun Kid, which never actually played, but it looks quite interesting. Image Fight and X Multiply, two classic shooters. Another copy of Gepi. Got buses. G Darius, if you like Kevin Fish. R Type Delta, Brilliant Game, Double Dragon. Uh, sure. Yeah, that looks like this is the Neo Geo one. That's a one-on-one -on -one fighter, not a not the arcade. Let's see if you can get the song out of your head now. Pepsi Man. Silhouette Mirage. Again, not my favourite game, but some people love it. Shane Ryu, an excellent shooter. Dodon Patchy, should know what that is. Randomly, this is a very rare Beat Mania. This is, again, I think, 
Hikari no Shima. It's a don't really know how to describe it. It's typical weirdness, but it's pretty interesting. Another R type Delta Growth or Devolution Pure God Pure, which I believe is like a populist type game. Nanotech Warrior, which is an excellent game. It plays like an update on Tempest. Again, the Japanese version is very rare, hence the price tag. Konami MSX Collection, Volume 3. In the Hunt, this one. So there's two different versions of this, as you can see here. We've got slightly different covers. This one's more zoomed in. This is the first print version, and it also has a... Probably it's hard to see that in the video. Maruan series stamped on the side, and this one doesn't have anything. I've no idea if the game's different. We've got Gekio Shinryu, another shoot em up. Ray Crisis, which was layer section 2 on the Saturn, another G Darius. Oh no! Typical weird and wacky, but good fun. Ah, can't remember the name of this one. Is it Dipple Man or something? It's quite an unusual fighting game. Not the best, but it's rare, so high price. Umihara Kawase, which is an amazing 2D platform game. If you've not played it, you really should. We've got Darius Gaiden, another fish em up, another Night Striker, all types. The Silver. Uh, I've not actually played this, but it looks quite interesting. Refrain Love 2. Sounds like a weird dating game. Oh, this has got a really long go catch. Gukituji Chikozuki or something like that. Sorry, it's a really good Power Instinct game. Uh, not at all gratuitous in the back. Rival Schools 2. Uh, this looks kind of Power Rangers-y, Super Tokusatsu Tazen 2001. Uh, looks quite interesting, got Ultraman and stuff in it. Medieval, which is actually really rare in Japan. Twilight Syndrome Special. Kind of horror-based adventure. Langresser 4 and 5, Final Edition. You can your RPGs and you can read the language. Well, this is the Zoku Gusa no Yo Yo again. Had it in the Saturn, there's a PlayStation one. And last, well, Tenchi Wokaru, which is a bit cheaper than the Saturn version. An excellent scrolling brawler from Capcom. And here, to finish the box off, we've got a limited edition version of it. It comes in a guidebook, and the back page has got the CD stuck in it, which is quite unusual. So, some of the highlights of the PlayStation 1 stuff in the shop just now. And again, as always, thank you for watching.